Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cocktail party of the Mediterranean tour presented to you by the Lobok Literacy and TV Bank. Our brilliant NBCC student will take you into the world of magnificent drinks. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, today I want you to introduce a uh, cocktail called Bellini. It's a most popular Italian uh, drink. So for your drink you will need a uh, champagne food, peach juice, uh, prosecco and some uh, for your garnish peach slices. So first step that we're gonna have is make sure that your food is chilled for 30 minutes in the fridge. Uh, second of all you will add a um, a little bit of peach juice into your glass second of all you will add a little bit of prosecco and then you can garnish with your peach slices There you go, this is your Bellini and you can enjoy it. For your Greek salad, we would like to introduce to you one very nice cocktail, which is called Bloody Mary. Uh, it is based on vodka, but to give it even more Greek flavor, you can use ouzo, which is a Greek national alcohol. So for this uh, cocktail, we, we will need vodka, we will need tomato juice, uh, also, we will need salt and pepper for rimming our glass. And for this purpose, we, uh, I took the ready-made Caesar rimmer, which you can find in the stores. Additionally, we will need two sauce, which is a Worcestershire sauce and a Tabasco sauce. Uh, then we will need uh, some wedges of lemon and lime, some olives, cucumbers, fresh cucumbers, and uh, some greens, like, for example, you can take a fresh celery stalk but uh, today we do not have a fresh celery stalk today we use uh, the pickled beans instead so Greece is a very beautiful country it has a lot of picturesque landscapes and it is surrounded with the warm waters of Mediterranean Sea when you taste this drink it can make you wanna dance the Greek national folk dance which is called Sirtaki okay so let's start uh, preparing our drink First, we take our highball glass and rim it with the juicy part of our lime or lemon. Then we put it into the salt and pepper like this and it will have this very nice edge, very nice rim. We fill our glass with ice and put it aside for a moment and now we will need a shaker again we will put some ice into the shaker we take one uh, wedge of the lime squeeze it gently and put it here and also one wedge of the lemon we squeeze it here and put it inside next we will take vodka we need two ounces okay. two. and then we need four ounces of tomato juice which is which I have here we will add two dashes of a Worcester sauce and Tabasco sauce for the taste now we take our shaker shake it gently a bit and we strain our drink into our glass like that and now we will add our extreme bean 
our cucumbers. Greek people eat a lot of fresh veggies like that. And we will take a lime and put it here. And our final touch, Greek olives. Ah, now you can dance. Hello everyone, my name is Karan Bir Singh. So today we are going to prepare a cocktail that is named Alexander Brandy. So for preparing this cocktail, we need just four ingredients. It's simple to prepare. You can prepare this at home too. Oh, you need first ingredient, it's a brandy. You can use any, t uh, any brand in the brandy. Or you need uh, cacao, cacao white. It's, uh, like, uh, it's uh, also alcohol, but uh, it has like uh, cacao beans mixture in there, like extract of cocoa beans and you need a cream and uh, for garnishing you can use nutmeg and uh, also you can use almonds like small chopped almonds and so we're gonna start preparing this alexander brandy so first we need uh, ice and a cocktail shaker okay so we're gonna put ice in our cocktail glass first cocktail shaker sorry we need lots of ice So after we're gonna put the ice, we need to put our main ingredients in the glass. We need one ounce of brandy. You can use any uh, any brand in there. One ounce of brandy. And one ounce of cacao white. Cow white, it has a flavor of coffee beans, like you can like smell the coffee beans in there. It's for flavor. And you need two ounce of cream. After that, you have to put this cocktail shaker in the glass and you have to make this let it hot. You, you can mix this like a little bit 30 seconds or for one minute to make the mixture like a, you know properly. Alexander brand is ready so in the end we just need uh, garnishing to make this look a little bit good you can use almonds or uh, nutmeg powder or brown nutmeg so here we go our brandy Alexander is ready hello everyone So today I'm going to take you to Italy with a drink called Death in Venice. Okay, so to make this drink, we are going to need some ingredients. And first of all, we're going to need a chilled flute glass. Second of all, we're going to need some Prosecco. So for those of you who doesn't know what Prosecco is, it is an Italian sparkling wine. Um, and we're also going, to, also going to need some Campari. And some cranberry bitters or you can also substitute it with grapefruit bitters and I have my measuring shot class last but not least um, a slice of orange for garnish so before we start making the drinks I'm just going to open this brand new bottle of Prosecco so we're going to peel the foil 
like this. There we go. And then you guys can see the coil over here. We are going to twist it six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then after that, I'm going to use a napkin to lift it up and open it. There we go. So we have our open uh, process go. Now we're going to start the process of making our drinks. Okay, so we are going to start by pouring a half an ounce of Campari into this measuring shot glass. There we go. And then into the glass. And then after that, we are going to add three dashes of cranberry bitters. So one, two, three. There we go. And then finally, we are going to add this beautiful prosecco in. There. And lastly, we're going to garnish it with a slice of orange. And there you go, as easy as that. There we have our death in Venice. Enjoy! Welcome everyone to our cocktail hour at NBCC for the literacy function. Today I will be making a drink from Spain called Sangria. Join me as we make this drink. Today we will need lemon and orange slices, which we have already prepared for you. Your favorite dry red wine, 200 grams of sugar, 200 grams of club soda, and to finish off, we will garnish with or mint leaves. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna be putting our orange and lemon slices in our pitcher. All right, now we add our sugar. And remember 200 grams of sugar. And this will give you four servings. Now we're gonna be adding our bottle of your favorite dry red wine. And once you've added all these ingredients, we're gonna be stirring it together. This drink is usually made the night before and we will place this in the refrigerator cover and allow our fruits to marinate with the mixture. Now on the day of serving, we will be adding our ice to our glass. Finally, before serving, we'll add our club soda and again 200 grams. and we will stir again. That looks delicious, right? Now we're gonna be pouring our sangria. And the beauty of this drink is that you add your fruits in the mixture and we finish off with our garnish or mint leaves. 
And here we have it, Sangria from Spain. Hi everyone, today I will show you how to make a, a Spanish Hugo cocktail which goes perfectly with our meal's cost. And today we will go to the ingredient with the cocktail. First, I need a grilled cheese glass, a cava sparkling wine, a tablespoon of elderflower syrup, mint leaf, and lamb. So let's do it. It's very simple. First, I will go to open it first. Here you are. Finally, I'm done. Now the first step, I will put a lamb rice into the glass. Mint leaf. After that, I will add one tablespoon of elderflower syrup. And the last step, just put the sparkling wine to the half fill of the glass. To make your drink better, give it a slightly stir. And now you're done with that. Enjoy!